Hi all, welcome back to the channel. So today in this video we are going to learn how we can select first and last element from a multi-select drop-down. So for this particular video I am going to show you a multi-select drop-down and from that we are going to select first and last element. But uh, the approach that I am going to show you that would be applicable for any kind of um, elements okay so there, there if there if in your application there are let's say five elements and you just want to select first and last element it doesn't matter it is a drop down or not okay so it will it, it, it will work so let me show you how you can do that and for this uh, particular uh, video and i'm going to uh, i already have created one video on the selecting values from auto suggestion drop down so i'm going to use the same code i mean not the exact code but yeah uh, the same file you can see uh, this is here uh, select auto suggestions and i already have created video so if you have not watched that video earlier and uh, if you want to watch that video you can click on the you will get the link from your top right eye icon okay if you click on the icon you will be able to see the video reference okay so for for this one what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, create another taste so just copy this part i think from this here to here and put like this paste it so this is the second taste and this is for taste underscore select first last element okay so we are going to select the first and last element from this website i mean let me show you the website first and what we will do exactly so this is the website and demo qa dot slash automation practice form and here we have a subject uh, field so it looks like a text field but it's not a text field if you just hit enter like e you'll see it's giving some options right this looks like i mean this is a drop down kind of thing but it's if you inspect it you'll see there there is no select tag available so you have to find a different way to handle this thing and that that's the same thing i have already explained here like how you can handle this kind of uh, drop down and how you can select the values right so that's the different thing because you are just passing it's uh, see what we are using here like we are created we created one dynamic xpath and using that xpath we are actually selecting the uh, like english physics commerce whatever value we are passing it's just selecting select subject and this is our this select subject to or select subject this is our uh, own wrapper method that we have created and we can use in this in in our, in our framework okay if we are creating any framework so but uh, the requirement here is like we need to select uh, if you enter he e then you can you need to select english and you need to select social studies how do you select it so first let's say i'm selecting english and then i'm clicking again e and this time i want to select the social studies okay so this is my requirement and for this particular video i'm showing like this it can be applicable for anything let's say uh, there is a five links available you just want to click on the first and last link uh, then this will this this approach will work okay now let me show you that approach okay so first we need to what happened yeah so let's get this subject input and we need this code so at this stage it will just enter e right now we need to select the first option so first we need to get all the options right so how do you get all the options so to get all the options subject options so multiple options would be there and uh, here what we can do we can just uh, take this code because this is this will return this get subject auto suggestions so if you see here it is actually uh, returning one options based on the 
value or the subject value that you are passing so we need only up to this one so let me come here and let me write like page dot locator and put it now if you are not sure whether it will work or not then let me verify it so it's like if you try to inspect it you know like it will not be able to you will not be able to expect right because the, if you paste just e and then if you try to inspect this chemistry see this uh, this is gone right it's tricky now i mean uh, i have already shown you that how do you how you can um, okay how you can inspect this kind of thing so for that what you have to do you have to just go to console and here you need to uh hit one uh, one commands so that command is like here it's given set timeout function and debugger so this is the javascript code so what we are doing here we are uh saying uh, the we are saying like after five seconds uh make it in debug mode i mean just pause the screen so it will, it will pause your um activity and now you will not be able to do anything but uh, like the execution will be paused right so debugger mode will be on after five seconds so you can see now if i write e here you can see it paused in debugger right now we can easily inspect this so let me go to the in elements tab and let me paste this uh, locator so you can see it is returning all the six node all the six nodes it is uh, it is returning now i can i'm sure like uh, i mean it's confirmed like it is able to locate all these six elements okay sorry for the disturbance and uh, now okay we got it so next what you have to do So simply next you need to do like subject options dot first dot click that's it so once you do it it should select the first options and uh, let me give uh, a wait page dot wait for timeout and let's give it a wait of two seconds and now let's run it so for running it what we can do uh, we can write pytest minus s test as added and this is under um, basics test select auto suggestion let's run it it, it, it will execute two tests let's see i think the first test uh, And I'm not, I, don't, I don't know which one will be executed first so yeah this one notice I mean observe it it should do it should work I mean it should first enter E and then it should select English see English is selected and it should close now yeah to passed okay now you can you see like it is working now you, you want to select um, again for uh, another value so let's say you want to select now uh, let's say you want to select p and once you select enter p so let's see what is happening here uh, okay let me continue it and let's say now yeah. I think this is a bug, right? 
so if you hit close it if you, you see <laughs> this is gone so this is the bug actually okay now if i hit p you can see it's only returning two options right so let's put e only so now i want to select the last options available so that is social studies so now i think you guessed it right what you have to do and um, just use this one okay, we have entered it so just replace it with e again and this time we just want to select subject dot last dot um, click and give a wait of two seconds again let's see what happens this time the first one is not uh, this one so let's let's wait for the second one So you can see the English and Social Studies got selected and this is how we can select first and last element from um, from from a multi-select drop down or maybe if it is a multi proper multi-select drop down you can select like that and uh, also it, it will work with any kind of links available in your page like let's say there are eight links available and you just want to select the first and last link then you can use that like first you have to get all the links to any like any like this you have to first fetch all the links and then uh, for the first link you have to use that uh, locator dot first and for the last element you need to use locators dot last and make sure that locator is returning multiple elements not single elements mm, yeah so I, I hope you got it and uh, that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, do let me know. Thank you for watching.